oh no it's already a february my syllabus is not done math is remaining science is remaining ssc is remaining and those history dates i'm not able to do so i'm done please someone help me out that how to overcome the stress this fear which i am getting more and more every day due to my examinations is there anyone is there any way to come out from this to overcome this mostly there is no way i feel so so what shall i do shall i uh, leave studying shall i uh, stop reading mm -hmm. even if i am going to do so then my results will not be good so what shall i do hello students yes hi this is priya and what just you have listened is a conversation with your inner self it is a voice of all the students you are feeling same every day yes and if you are feeling the same every day then believe me you are completely normal you are completely okay it happens when i was of your age it used to happen to me as well so you understood well that what will be discussing today and how we'll be uh, discussing it with a very different approach if i give you one problem and if i ask you to solve it so what will you do at that time you will try to know the cause so we know what is the problem problem is a stress of examination fear of examination what we should do we should know a cause of problems and then we'll get some solution to come out from this so today as you know what we are going to discuss that how students can overcome the fear or fear or stress of examination of your results or anything so as i told you you should know the causes what causes exam fear what causes any sort of fear so the very first thing that just you are thinking that you will not be able to get good marks you will not be able to score good in your examination and you are right now already uh, frightened due to that that what will happen it can be fear of difficult subjects math science or anything that you are not able to cope up in that subject and you are worrying about your examination you are worried about your results fear of letting down your parents and teachers expectations this is a major thing that what will my parents think about me they have spent a lot of things a lot of time over here and what if i'm not going to get good marks what if i'm not going to get a good score what my teachers will think what my friends will think the second thing you are even uh, not able to concentrate i'm not able to focus and just because of that i'm not able to remember the things and the same is there in my results giving importance to the marks it's a sad truth we need to accept it that sometimes we give a lot much importance to the results it is important but not more than us so these are the causes why you are feeling frightened or terrible or just worried about this so what we should do we should understand this fear when you understand the nature of a problem at the same time you are able to come out of this so when i am discussing this so let me explain you this is called a psychosomatic fear a thing which is going in your mind and is causing lot many problems you are getting stress not because of a physical problem but you are getting it because of a mental problem like you are thinking a lot you do overthinking and that leads to stress in your examination yes it is happening now if it is happening if it is like this then there must be some effects 
that you cannot stay focused i know that you are not able to focus while you are reading while reading history chapter you are thinking about marks in your last unit test you are thinking about your board results what it will be whether you will get good marks or not you can't sleep properly even while you are trying to get a good sleep you are still thinking still thinking and keep on thinking about your results and the marks and the grades etc etc overthinking is there you cannot sleep even even it disturbs your physical health as well that you are not feeling well physically you feel uh in no, without energy or you feel like uh, you don't have any energy to do a particular task or to do a particular work you can't even complete the daily things your routine just because of this you just sit in a corner and you keep on thinking while you are reading sst oh what will happen to my science exam while you are doing mathematics sum i'm not able to remember the chemical equations so this is happening over there and these are the effects these are called the effects but what we should do will be like ma'am we know this we are experiencing this and uh, we are very much familiar these things but now what we should do to come out from this so here are some tips here are some suggestions and here are some solutions by which you can overcome these things so the very first is have a plan ready you know this is a problem when you know this is a problem you will make a plan it's not a sudden problem came it is like you know you are going to have examinations and you have studied for it so you already have a plan that you are studying well you are doing well and if you have not a proper plan yet then you should make it right now that how you will be studying for the later days for the next days how you will be completing all your subjects the first thing keep a handy plan that you can follow it shouldn't be like you will be reading 12 hours a day that's not possible but make a realistic plan which you can follow second hourly revision start revising start revising topics start revising subjects it's not like that i'll do it tomorrow still i have these many days exam is in march why sh why shall i or why should i remember or revise it right now that is not a key you should revise it on earlier basis so when it will be a day before your examination you will be feeling much relaxed more relaxed so that is a thing study mix subjects if you are bad at maths then don't just keep studying maths all the time you should do like mix subject study math you are doing yes uh, give some more attention to it but also don't forget science sst there are lot many subjects in our bucket we should read all cause in mark sheet or in your examination you will be writing all subject papers clear yeah? so that's the thing prepare notes while revising while studying don't just read so if you just read then uh, it may happen that after a week or a two days you will forget it if you have written it somewhere so that will be stored in your brain for a longer period of time but you need to revise revision is a key but also make notes of that second is a paper writing practice now why should you start writing papers right now or from the today itself you play games you must be playing the video games the mobile games or anything there if you are uh, failing at any particular level but at the second time you get it done very properly why because you know you don't have to make mistakes which you have made in your first attempt so the same thing applies over here if you will be writing paper properly here at this stage so you will find out your mistakes at this time only at this stage only so if you know the mistakes right now you still have a time to correct it so the simple set a timer get some previous your question papers and solve it and write it properly in a disciplined way get it checked by your teachers and also uh, get a score of that 
so you will come to know that uh, where you have to give uh, much time in which subject you need to do some more practice over there so giving mock test writing papers is also important next understand your problems and weakness while you are writing this papers now that will give you a chance to understand your weak points where you are lagging behind where you need to work more so when you understand it when you know the problem at that time you will be like having also a solution for the same talk to your parents and teachers if you are not getting solution by yourself then talk to your teachers talk to your elders talk to your parents or your siblings or anyone so you will get a solution for that dear yeah? next is be confident in your efforts and believe in yourself yes this is a mantra for the success whatever you are doing you should be confident at least you should have that firm belief that yes this is going to work out so when you do things with a uh, confidence when you do it uh, with a uh, belief that surely you will get a success so that also brings some positive results so you should do that next but very important this is a last point why i have kept it last cause it is important point i want all of you to do this if you are not doing anything else from the rest of the points it is okay but this is important that take some breaks watch your favorite tv show watch a good movie which you like a lot play any sport and take a chill pill cuz i like ma'am are you crazy you are suggesting us this to do at this stage yes why a frustrated brain will give you nothing but if a refreshed mind if a fresh mind is there it will lead you to the path of success so to uh, come up with this like to overcome your frustration what you should do whatever you like if you like to talk with your friends do that if you like to play any game do that if you like to watch any tv show do that but you need to do it in a certain limits cause you should know that you also have the exams you also have some other plans so keep some time from your busy schedule for these also make a schedule follow it but also take small breaks in between cuz that is very important and at the end i would like to tell you that my dear students this is just a examination it is not an examination of life yes so you should take it very normally whatever you are doing do it in a right way do it with a proper confidence and just believe in yourself i know i assure that you all will get the good results so see you again with a next video till then if you have any problems if you have any queries or if you have any questions you can just write it down there there in the comment box yes so just write it down we'll see you again till then keep studying keep chilling keep rocking thank you